Through the mist and the fog, Aldershot came to attention. The Queen's own gag and logistic! Regiment! Troops of 10 the Queen's Own Gurkha Logistic Regiment were given the freedom of the Borough of Rushmore, the highest accolade a council can give. Many, many ex-serving uh, Gurkhas come and live in Aldershot and Rushmore and um, they play a, a key role within our communities. Then, led by the Brigade of Gurkhas Band, the regiment paraded around Aldershot and for many that lined the streets here to watch, it was a proud moment. <laughs> yeah, it was great. The kids obviously loved to see their dad all dressed up. Really proud. Very proud, yeah. It was really lovely. It was really nice to see everyone come out and fly the flags. It makes <laughs> you feel really patriotic. We really appreciate and uh, we'll, we would like to be honoured of this parade, actually. We are really proud for what they're doing and uh, yeah, we're just here to appreciate them as well. The Gurkhas have been an integral part of the British Army. Prince Harry lived with a Gurkha battalion during his 10 weeks in Afghanistan. And the decision to bestow this honour was agreed by councillors here last year to honour the Gurkhas for their bravery, courage and contribution to local life. The freedom means two things. First of all, it was a way of cities marking their respect for returning troops. As the years have gone on within British culture and right up today, it moves on to my second point, which is it's about a sign between a hometown and its resident battalions or regiments. And in this case, the borough of Rushmore and my regiment uh, from the last 10 years and out to the future. This honour comes as the Brigade of Gurkhas celebrates its 200th anniversary an anniversary that's important for this brigade and one for a town that this regiment is proud to call home. Edward Salt, BBC South Today, Aldershot.